my channel. Today is a Wednesday, which means it's a Walt Disney Wednesday, and we are continuing on with the Mickey ear craziness on my channel every Wednesday, guys. We did 50 different Mickey ear ideas. If you have not seen that video, that will give you kind of like a sneak peek teaser to all of the videos that I've either done or will be doing coming up. So this one, I am really excited about, okay? So this is a technique where we let the Cricut draw a picture and we watercolor it. And then we also do it on some fabric so that we can create them into custom hand painted Mickey ears. So let me just tell you, this is does not need to be used for Mickey ears. This technique can be used just on anything. You can do this on fabric and put it over whatever you wanna do. If you guys wanna see me do some more of hand painted stuff like this and show you what else you could use it on, let me know in the comments below so I can make sure that I am doing that for you guys. All right, let's get going on this one. This one's super fun, super, um, it's not the easiest tutorial, but if you practice this technique, you will get better, just letting you know. And the more you play with watercolors, the better you will get. So let's go. All right, so when you're writing with the Cricut, what you wanna do is make sure that your design is set to write by clicking on the little icon next to the design that either has scissors, a printer, a writing tool, or a scorer. So we just wanna make sure that anything we're using to write is sized to what we want it and set to write. And then we're going to click go and we can have this write on whatever we want, whether it's paper or anything like that. You could do this on watercolor paper to give you a guide for a watercolor. You could do this on a big piece of fabric so you can use it for a canvas. But today we're doing it on a small piece of fabric so that we can make Mickey ears with it. So I'm just going to use um, the Strong Grip mat because I like how it holds my fabric down when it's writing it doesn't bunch up and then I'm just going to stick it on really good I like to use extra fabric if I can so that way there's no chance of the pen pulling the fabric up so then I'm going to use the Cricut pens which there are a lot of different ones and I'm coming out with a video all about pens the Cricut pens so I'm just gonna make sure my pens work because sometimes they're old and I haven't used them in a very long time. So I just wanna make sure I've got a good fresh one and I'm just gonna load it by putting the little triangle into the slot and closing it in and then loading my mat like I would with any other design or project. And so I'm just gonna load that in and let the Cricut do the rest by clicking cut. And since it's set to write, I don't have to worry about any settings or anything like that. You do have to tell it what pen you're using. So make sure that you have the correct pen loaded for what it is. But once again, that's just preference. Um, it's still going to write exactly the same no matter what. So then I'm just gonna let it draw it out. And then I love this technique because it really takes the um, hard, out of painting. I can just start with this guide and then use my watercolors as I decide or I can use fabric markers as well. I have fabric markers and watercolor pencils and pens and lots of things in my Amazon store if you want to check that out. I've got links to all of the things that I use anytime and you can get those there. So one of the cool things I like to do with fabric markers is just kind of outline it. This kind of gives it just some more definition, takes that black away and gives me a good base to start. So with the Rapunzel flower, I just kind of started with that. And then I went in with this watercolor palette that I got at Michael's for $5, which I thought was just gonna be kind of dumb because it was five bucks, but it ended up being a really good watercolor um, palette and it has so many colors, so the blending is super fun. So I just kinda like used the top of it as my water holder, and then I just kinda used a brush and went back and forth between the colors. And then you can't really go wrong with any colors. I kinda just started on the right side and did some bright colors, and then I blended in some lighter colors later, like some yellows. And then if it's too light or too much of a contrast, you can go in with some different colors in between and just kind of get crazy with it.
And I really love to use contrasting colors. So of course the sunflower is part of Rapunzel and I love the night sky. So I kind of wanted to do a night sky on the outside. You'll notice that I have my fabric on my mat while I'm painting, which is not a big deal, um, but it will bleed through a little bit. So if you're using any type of watercolor acrylic, just make sure that you don't mind getting it on your mat. Um, I do like because it holds the fabric so still that I can paint the fabric and it's not going to go anywhere. So I just filled this little one in with a bunch of different purples and kind of went in with some blues to give it kind of like a starry night texture at the end and I really love how it turned out. And then with Stitch I just kind of painted him the colors that he actually is and then I kind of went around him with a fabric marker and I noticed that since I already had watercolor on there it started to bleed a little bit which is not a bad thing but you just do it how you want to do it and then I kind of gave this cool technique on the outside and put it on some Mickey ears and I love them.